morning, good people. I'm Brother Jim at St. Fidelis Friary in Victoria, Kansas. I've been a Capuchin 50 years and a priest 45. If you would permit me, I would like to share a reflection about our Franciscan spirit. One of the principles guiding the Church's decision to approve the various Franciscan orders, including the seculars, is that it is possible for the spirit and life of the gospel, as well as that of St. Francis, to be lived in every age and every culture, including our own. The spirit and life of St. Francis as gospel life is therefore completely relevant to how we live our lives and find communion with Jesus and the saints and together life everlasting. St. Francis did not live in our day. He knew nothing about COVID-19 or other problems we face today. Yet, it is right that we Franciscans ask ourselves, what would be his response to COVID? What should be our attitude toward it as his followers? Francis himself sought the help of physicians in trying to cope with his faltering eyesight. He insisted that any brother who was ill should be treated with special care. He embraced lepers, and in, his, in this we see his gospel charity toward himself and toward others, even toward nature, in his profound respect and care for all God's creatures. We who strive to live the gospel after the manner of St. Francis must apply his spirit to our attitude toward questions around COVID-19 and all challenges of our day. We must ask ourselves what our attitude should be regarding vaccination, for instance. What is our proper attitude and action toward the abortion issue? What is the loving thing to do for others and for ourselves regarding these issues? We Franciscans evangelize peaceably and primarily by our way of life and our witness. Furthermore, unless we consider the pandemic, for instance, to be a big hoax, what should be our loving response to this phenomenon? What would be St. Francis' response? If COVID-19 is perhaps one of the modern forms of leprosy, what should our attitude be? What should our response to this phenomenon really be? On the eve of his death, St. Francis, in imitation of the divine master, had bread brought to him and broken. This he distributed among the, the pre, those present. He blessed Bernard of Quintivalli, his first companion, Elias, his vicar, and all the others in the order. I have done my part, he said, and may Christ teach you yours. We Capuchins are trying to take St. Francis seriously in our lives. We know that Christ is teaching us to pray for you and ask that you also pray for us. May God bless you.